Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a little story telling about found love. This is the story of Camilla and David. It was one of those perfect mornings in Philadelphia. The kind where the sun kissed the horizon just right, warming the city in mid-August. I decided to take a different route on my daily walk, eager for a change in scenery. The familiar sights of the neighborhood with its bustling sounds had begun to feel like an old, well-worn book. I needed something new, something refreshing. That's when I found myself wandering along a quieter path. A little side street I'd never noticed before, lined with trees with vibrant green leaves. I could feel the energy of the city around me, but here, in this hidden corner, it was just me and the soft rustle of leaves in the breeze. As I walked, I let my thoughts drift, savoring the peacefulness. That's when I saw him. Excuse me, he said. There he was. A man, tall and with an easy, confident stance, standing by a tree with an old-fashioned camera slung around his neck. He had a look of curiosity mixed with a hint of mischief, like someone who is constantly on the lookout for life's next adventure. Our eyes met for just a moment, and I could feel my heart skip a beat. Why? I wasn't sure, but there was something in the way he looked at me that made me want to know more. Sorry to bother you, but could you help me with something? His voice was warm, with a hint of a California accent. It was different from the quick, clipped tones I was used to hearing in the city. There was something soothing about it, like a wave gently lapping up ashore. I walked over, curious. Sure, I replied. What do you mean? I'm trying to capture the perfect shot of the street with the light coming through the leaves, but I can't quite get the angle right. Would you mind holding this branch for a second? I smiled. It was such a simple request, and yet there was something endearing about the way he asked. I could tell he wasn't just another tourist. There was a sense of purpose in his actions, like he was really seeing the beauty in the moment. Of course, I said, reaching out to hold the branch steady as he adjusted his camera. Perfect. Thanks a lot. I'm David, by the way. Camilla, I replied, letting go of the branch and taking a small step back to get a better look at him. Are you a photographer? I dabble, but mostly I'm just a guy who likes to capture beautiful things when he sees them. There was something about his honesty that made me smile. No pretense, no need to impress, just a man enjoying the simple pleasures of life. And what brings you to this little corner of Philadelphia? I asked, genuinely curious. He didn't seem like the usual kind of visitor who'd stick to the well-trodden paths. I'm here on a short trip from Santa Barbara. Needed a change of pace, something different from the endless sun and surf. I heard Philadelphia had its own kind of charm, so I thought I'd check it out for myself. What about you? I live here, I said, almost apologetically. It's not as glamorous as Santa Barbara, but I love it. There's a rhythm to the city, a kind of heartbeat that you can feel if you listen closely enough. It's chaotic, but in the most beautiful way. I can see that. There's something special here. Something real. We started walking together, just chatting. It was easy, natural, as if we'd known each other for longer than just a few minutes. He told me about Santa Barbara, with its golden beaches and perfect weather. How he loved the ocean, but needed a break from the predictability of it all. I told him about the seasons in Philly, how the city came alive in different ways throughout the year, spring blooms, summer festivals, fall colors, winter snow. I could see the way his eyes lit up when he imagined it. Before I knew it, we were back on the main street, the heart of the city, the noise and bustle growing around us. But somehow, walking next to David, it all seemed quieter, more peaceful. I didn't want our walk to end. Would you like to grab a coffee? I asked, surprising myself with the boldness of the question. I wasn't too usually one to make the first move, but there was something about him that made me feel different, braver. I'd love that, he said with a grin that made my heart flutter. We found a little coffee shop tucked away from the main streets where the scent of fresh coffee filled the air. 
We sat by the window, sipping our drinks, watching the world go by outside. It felt like time had slowed down just for us. So I said, breaking the comfortable silence that had settled between us, how long are you in Philly for? Just a few more days. But now, I'm thinking maybe I should stay a little longer. There was that smile again, the one that made my heart skip. I couldn't help but wonder what it would be like to explore more of the city with him, to share more moments like this. Well, if you're looking for a guide, I know a few good spots. The words were out before I could second guess them. I wanted to see him again, to learn more about this man from across the country who had somehow wandered into my life on a quiet street in Philadelphia. And judging by the way his eyes met mine, warm and full of promise, I knew he felt the same. Sometimes the most unexpected moments are the ones that change everything. A chance meeting on a quiet street, a shared cup of coffee, a conversation that lingers long after it ends. I didn't know what the future held for David and me, but in that moment, under the soft glow of the day's sun, I knew one thing for sure. This was only the beginning. I wasn't planning on meeting someone, and I haven't felt like getting to know a woman romantically in a long time. But there's something about her that is pulling me in. I have to stay a few more days and get to know her. I don't know where this will take me, but I need to find out what can come of this. It was clear as we walked around and talked that neither of us wanted to say goodbye. We walked around for what seemed to be hours. By the time we parted, there was no denying that we both wanted to spend more time together. David delayed his flight back home a few times over the next week. We spent each day walking around the city, sightseeing all the tourist spot and more local spots that I loved. I was happy to share them with him. The excitement in his eyes and interests about the city gave me a new sense of joy about the neighborhoods that just days ago. I felt we're starting to feel like a worn book. You know how it is, when you have lived somewhere all your life, you start to take for granted of how special it is. I shared all my favorite food spots that are not on a tourist guide or social media. I made him pinky promise never to share these spots. We local like to keep those places to ourselves. Sure, we will share our city, but when it comes to the truth behind a real cheese steak, we'll never tell, I teased in a scary voice making him laugh so hard that people started looking at us. As we took one last walk down the quiet street we met before it was time for David to head home to Santa Barbara, David pulled out his camera and said, excuse me, could you help me? Why sure, I said with a giggle. He said, I am trying to capture the perfect picture. Could you stand next to this tree and grace the camera with your beautiful smile? It was at that moment that we shared our first kiss. It was the kiss heard well into my future. I have never felt so comfortable, so relaxed, and so bold. It was a mixed reaction of the best first kiss. I've had with a sense of something that felt so natural as if we had kissed a million times before. I could tell by the way David continued to hug me that he too felt a sense of comfort in our kiss and embrace. He whispered, I think we might have met in another lifetime. We both laughed, he hugged me once more, and with that sly grin, said one more kiss to make sure this was real. And real it was. We walked around a little longer, taking pictures, holding hands and hugging, as if we were a couple that had been together for years. Making plans for our next date, and laughing at the fact that our first day has lasted over a week. When David's Uber arrived, the look on both our faces said it all. We were both not ready to part, but we knew this was not goodbye. This was the beginning of something special. After David's Uber ride left, I walked around trying to make sense of this encounter. Was this real? I said to myself. I wonder if I will ever hear from him. This was crazy. We were caught up in the moment, I thought. I will probably never hear from him again. Later that night, as I was moving and catching up on emails, I got a text. It was from David. It said, I know we just left each other and we only met a week ago, but I feel like we are meant to be. 
Let me know when I can come see you again and share a secret cheese steak and walk down Irving Street where I met the girl of my dreams. And so began a love story that started on a quiet street in the heart of the city.